Oh, there you are, YouTube. Doo 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 Subscribe if you're interested, but also no pressure. Hey, I think we might do a random ranking today. What I really hope happens, I mean, I got a lot of movies back there, but it'd be awesome if I pulled Speed from the collection because Speed today is celebrating its 30th anniversary. So that's pretty awesome. Really do love that movie. It's great. And I don't know if you remember, but a few days ago I was telling you about a podcast I was listening to leading up to today, uh, which was an oral history of the making of speed, the legacy of speed, just everything about speed, literally everything down to the caterers of speed, like everything. Um, what was on the menu for the crew? Uh, so yeah, it's uh, it's called 50 miles per hour. It's uh, hosted by Chris Tapley, one of my favorite film writers, been following him for years, many, many years. Uh, so check that out. But let's uh let's get to picking some movies i probably won't pick speed there's just so many back here let's see let's pick whatever this one is up high and then maybe i don't know maybe this one down here Ooh, what is that is that lenticular what am i feeling what am i feeling maybe maybe whatever this one is oh this feels like it sells the packaging on it Maybe I've never seen it ever, or maybe I just haven't seen this copy. All right, what do we got? Good. Is that the packaged one? No. Okay, uh, which one is this? Okay. And then, uh, you know, I don't, I can't remember if I've seen these. I know they've been on and I've been present, but I don't think I've seen all the way through. And I think there are like three of them. I think my wife likes these movies, so. Uh, I bought this on Black Friday for probably a buck. So, um, I gotta, I can't do that one. So let's do a third one that's coming from maybe right here. Let's see. Okay. <laughs> this will be fun. Okay. Will it be? Yeah, it'll be just fine. All right, first off, we're gonna go with Office Space. Now, this movie is very funny. Uh, I feel like it was a little too influential, um, but I mean, I kind of feel the same way. If you, if I were to win, I mean, a million dollars, I feel like in this economy isn't enough <laughs> to do anything. All that's gonna do is maybe, I don't know, pad, pad the wallet a little bit. I mean, obviously it would be a life changer, but I feel like you can't do nothing, which is what this movie is getting at. Uh, if I had enough money to do nothing, I would do nothing. I'd probably, though, maybe for fun, still do YouTube videos. I'm curious, if you are on YouTube, if you make YouTube videos and you won, so let's, let's up it. Let's say not just a million bucks or whatever it is in the movie. If it's like, if you win $400 million, are you still gonna do YouTube or no? You know what, maybe I wouldn't. Would I? I don't know, I might be busy doing other things. I might, I'd probably buy a warehouse and collect, I'd definitely still be collecting things on a more massive level. But I don't know if I'd be, maybe I'd do YouTube, I don't know, it's fun. And I, I, I do it every day, so maybe, maybe I would feel like I can't stop. Maybe I would feel that way, but I don't know, I just love, I don't know, I love this movie. I don't watch it enough. Uh, I need to, to watch it again. I need to show it to my wife. Um, I don't, I think she's seen it. Maybe she hasn't, not with me anyway. But cast is really funny, very quotable. There's just a, a lot going on. And look at this, they just talk about flair just a little bit right there. So that's Jennifer Aniston. Isn't it funny that they're selling this movie without Jennifer Aniston on the cover? You'd think by now they would be like, look everyone, it's Jennifer Aniston. It's friends, Jennifer Aniston. I'm surprised this isn't a giant picture of Jennifer Aniston's face that says office space, right? That's kind of surprising, but this is old. Maybe, maybe if they're selling it now, maybe it is her on the cover even though she's working at like a Friday's or something, right? We don't have a Friday's anymore. We had a Friday. No, I think we do actually. 
Did that Friday's close? You know what? I don't know. It might have closed. I know it moved, but I don't know if it's open. I remember they had like some rib barbecue sauce or something that had like uh, Jack Daniels in it. And that was pretty good. I liked that. Didn't go there too often, but I would on occasion. I think I'd get order mozzarella sticks from there also, or on, or nachos, onion rings, mozzarella sticks. What did I get there? I don't know. Um, again, I didn't go very often. But next we have The Fog, John Carpenter's. And isn't there a Fog remake? Because I think I own the remake too, and I had to like double check. I had to be like, do I, is this the remake or is this the John Carpenter one? But, you know, I feel like this is kind of like a slower moving film, but I just like that it's ghosts, right? We're, we're dealing with ghosts here. And a good ghost movie I feel like is cool. Um, it's not, you know, it just feels like classic ghosts, right? It doesn't feel, I mean, it's not fully classic ghosts, but I just like that idea of it being a ghost movie. You know, just like Ghost. This is a movie about ghosts. You know, not not Patrick Swayze style, but just like ghosts. I don't know. You know, it, it's, it feels more like ghosts than like spirits. I mean, I know they're the same thing, but there seems to be some sort of difference in my head. And I like that. Yeah. I don't know. I, I, I... I, I think I like it more than I should like it. Maybe I give it too much credit or something. I don't know. How do you feel about it? Next, we have final film here. <laughs> Jupiter Ascending. And why do I like this? Because I do. And the reason I like it is because it is totally out there. I like these grand films. Like, you know, uh, Francis Ford Coppola has this movie out right now. Well, I don't think it's out. I don't think we can watch it yet. Megalopolis. Megalopolis? Is that what it's called? I feel like I'm saying that wrong. Megalopolis? Meat drapes. Megalopolis. Um, and it's just like, everybody's like, this is out there. It's like, you know, passion project sort of stuff. When people make passion projects, a lot of times they're no good because they're not listening to anybody else but themselves. And... Sometimes that turns into a bad movie. Do you remember that one with like Mickey Rourke and Megan Fox? I think she or he was an angel. I can't remember. I think that was like a passion project movie. Everybody was like, yeah, it's a passion project movie and it sucks. Uh, I remember watching it. I honestly don't remember my thoughts on it. Um, but I think actually, I think my thoughts were it's not as bad as I was reading because everybody kept calling it a a passion project in a negative way. Um, so anyway, I don't even know if this would be considered a passion project, but I like those sorts of things because they're grand. Uh, it's uh, an artist ignoring studios, an artist saying, I'm doing what I want to do. You know, um, Shyamalan's Lady in the Water, a movie that I talk about a lot and love, is somewhat of a passion project. Disney said, no. We're not making that. And he's like, all right, uh, I'll go to WB and they'll make it for me or pay for it or whatever. And then he he, he got like final cut and everything. And in a lot of ways, that feels like a passion project. Did I get sunburned today? I was outside a lot today. I don't know. Um, but yes, this movie, I keep darting around here, moving moving around. This movie feels like that, like, like, a, like artists had these massive things in mind. Um, the Wachowskis had massive things in mind and, and they were like, we're gonna, we're gonna go for it. We're gonna shoot for the moon. It's gonna be strange. It's gonna be weird. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna do it. And I, I like it for that. And it's imagination, it's scope, it's strangeness. All of that is, is good to me. So, you know, I, I like when that happens. Maybe it doesn't always work, but the ambition, I think that's the word I've been looking for this entire time I've been rambling. The ambition is what I love about it. The ambition. So how are we gonna rank them though? Um, you know what? Because of the ambition, I'm gonna put Jupiter Ascending above the fog. Um, even though I don't watch, I probably seen Jupiter Ascending 
twice, <laughs> but I don't know. I'm really, I'm really wanting to um, praise the ambition there. So I'm going to put that at number two. And I'm going to go ahead and put Office Space at number one. That's like an unbeatable film out of these three in my eyes. But, you know, I think a lot of people probably love The Fog. So apologies to those who love The Fog and John Carpenter. Like, I totally get it. I totally understand. Uh, maybe there are days where I'd put it up higher. I don't think... There are any days, though, with these three that Office Space wouldn't win. Office Space will always win with these three, but there are days where the fog easily goes ahead of Jupiter Ascending. But today, I don't know, I'm feeling the ambition. It's probably because of Coppola's film that that's out right now, and I just kind of want to be um, pro-ambition, -am you know, because it works out for him sometimes, you know, like Dracula. Dracula feels ambitious, and I like that. Anyway, this is my ranking. Office Space, then Jupiter Ascending, and then The Fog. But my question to you is, have you seen these films, these three right here? And if so, what do you think about them? And if you've seen all three, how would you rank them? I'd love to know. Let me know in the comments below, and perhaps we'll see you tomorrow for more Pure Hangout.